In the previous episode, we showed regarding the Ice Festival event. We highlighted an overview of the Blue Pearl Ice Festival, the Darhat Ethnic Museum, as well as the Darhat Ethnic Songs. Darhat is a beautiful mountains area in the northern part of the Hupskul province, surrounded by the Red Taiga, Sayang Mountains, and Lake Hupskul. The Darhat ethnic group has 32 surnames. According to the 2020 census, more than 25,000 people are registered as having Darhat ethnicity. A gear from the Darhad Museum of National Culture was built at the Ice Festival site. Darhad Valley's name is derived from the Darhad ethnic group that inhabits the region. The Darhad live mainly in Bainzurg, Ulangol, Rinchenklump and Tsaran or Soms of Hufsul province. The Darhod speak a Mongolian dialect with a unique sound and vocabulary. Darhod folk songs have short tones and clear lyrics. Many Darhod practice shamanism, the worship of nature. The Dukha or Tsatan, Mongolia's smallest ethnic minority group, also live in the beautiful valley. Originally from Tova in Siberia, the Tatum have historically inhabited the border region of Russia and Mongolia for centuries as nomadic reindeer herders and also practice shamanism. During the ice festival, there are competitions for ice ankle bone throwing, skating, archery, performances in traditional costumes, tug of war, and relay and horse sled races. The archery competition is a large-scale competition for national titles, and professional archers participated this year. Today, the Western Region Arch Archery Final is part of the Ice Festival. 13 teams are participating, each team having 10 people. They shoot 20 arrows from 40 meters. The one with the most hits wins. 17 winners are awarded the title of Sportsmaster of Mongolia. Ice archery originated with the Oraha people and spread throughout the country, leading to the establishment of the Ice Archery Association. Since 2014, we have been organizing national competitions. This year we had our first competition of the season in December. It is a competition that preserves and promotes our heritage. Archery is one of the most famous sports in Mongolia. Buret, Orangha and Khalkh are Mongolia's three primary archery styles. Mongolian archers shoot with bows made from natural materials such as wood, horn, sinew, leather and animal glue. It takes six months to a year to make one bow. Arrow fletchings are made of feathers from birds of prey and the arrow point is made of wood or bone. Because archery is performed outdoors, the weather and temperature impact the natural materials bows and arrows are made from. Horn bows become stronger and harder in colder weather and softer in warmer weather, with a reduced chance of an arrow hitting its target. Matching the arrow and bow's softness and flexibility to weather conditions, wind speed, direction and other factors requires experience and awareness from the archer. The traditional Mongolian costume, the Del, has a lot of cultural and historical significance and different designs depending on the ethnic group. The competition included modern designs and even a gentleman dressed in ancient hunting clothes. Mungun Todok, who wore an ancient Kidan costume, won first place in the competition. His del was made in the style of the ancient Kidan and included unique men's accessories. 
I was wearing a coat with a fur on the outside, made from fox fur, a traditional Mongolian hat, and a Hitan style del. There's a del with a Hitan collar. The Hunnu, Sunni, Shanbei, Turkic, and Hitan empires were all located in Mongolia, but the Hitan are our true ancestors. This is a del modeled on a Hitan del found in Mongolia. Since ancient times, the Mongols have always been ready to hunt and fight, so the belt they wore was very narrow. What's on the surface of this area is asceticism. This is an archer's bow. It all refers to our ancestors. A del is made to handle every bodily movement, making it extremely convenient for herders to shift from riding horses to completing other daily tasks. A del is belted by a sash made of bright cloth that can be several meters long. The belt is supposed to protect the kidneys from harmful jostlings caused by horseback riding. The belt can also be used to hold knives, mugs, flint, and other items that are traditionally carried. Del designs differ depending on their intended use. If they are meant to be worn in cold or hot weather, designed for men or women, for regular use or special events. For example, del worn during holidays, festivals and ceremonies are often more colorful and are made of fine silk and other expensive materials. It is estimated that more than 8,000 people, both local and international, have participated in the ice festival competitions in previous years. This year, few tourists came to the ice festival due to the COVID-19 pandemic. These tourists were interested in the region's nomadic culture, the culture of the Tsatang ethnic group, and the traditional Mongolian games of the festival. Tourist camps along Lake Hovskal's shores offer many unique activities to highlight the beauty of Mongolian winter. Our tourist camp started operating in 2017. For the first time, it's open in winter this year. This winter has been dominated by foreigners living and working in Mongolia. It's very beautiful in winter, and there are many things to see around Lake Hufshof. Tourists can see unique lakes that don't freeze. Ice takes travelers to the western and eastern Taig to look at the reindeer, and they can do activities such as watching Mongolian games on the ice, reindeer or cycling and driving on Lake Hufshof. The ice festival is a major event for promoting winter tourism. The main thing is that it lasts for only two days. After that, if we organize it for seven to ten days, we have to pay special attention to keeping the exhibits up for a long time without damaging them. This year's celebration was attended by about 15,000 guests and delegates from more than 10 provinces, including Arhanga, Tu, Siling, Bodrung, Orhung, Kopsumbur, Tarhung, and Hinti. The locals and guests were happy with the organization of the festival. We hope that the number of tourists visiting Mongolia will increase in the coming years. The Blue Pearl Ice Festival, held every year to promote Mongolian culture, should be expanded and become a major engine for attracting foreign tourists during the winter months.